What's up, everybody? Welcome back to NBA Basketball right here on YouTube.com slash SeanOSRX. My name is Sean. Today we are taking on the Toronto Raptors, uh, a team that we have actually played very well against. I think we're, I want to say we're 2-1 and one against them, uh, but they were, we lost to them 8-7, to seven, uh, but we had beaten them 11-7 to seven and 16-12. to 12. And through that first stretch of games all the way up to that Knicks game, that was the only team we had beaten. We'd beaten them twice and lost to everybody else. Um, fortunately, things have turned around for us today. And with a win against the uh, the Rockets, the Raptors today, we can cement a 500 record with our 41st win of the season. That would also help us a little bit here in the playoff hunt as we are in last place. We would right now face the 76ers, who we see twice in the last week of the season. So let's see if we can maybe make a move up the standings uh, against this team. They are a little bit better than us. So we'll see uh, We'll see what we can do. Jump on in here. Every day, 4 p.m. Pacific time, you can catch a game of NBA 2K22 as the season winds down. Seven games left after this game. So uh, not too late to jump on board. We'll be... Um, not exactly sure what the playoff format's going to look like. Depends on where we will be. Uh, but I, I'm thinking that the playoff stuff will probably just be one big, long video. Um, well, thank you so much for watching. If you want more, scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell, do all that good stuff. And uh, I will see you at the tip. Up next, the Pacers take it on the Raptors for the Pacers. Presently in possession of the seventh spot in the East, a middle of the pack team trying to make that next step. Raptors, Pacers, and we'll be right back after this. Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports NBA Action. It's coming up. Joining Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. With us this evening, WNBA legend Candace Parker. Hey, Candace. Hey, thanks for having me. You're too kind, Brian. Hey, everyone. And a chance to check out our Rookie of the Year list. Some incredible talent entering the league. Well, you look at Barnes. He's had a solid year. Just not good enough to be in the race for Rookie of the Year. Still, here's a guy with an exciting future. And even if he's not at the top of the list, he deserves a lot of credit for what he's done in this rookie season. No doubt. He's a talented draft class this year, so it's been hard for him to move up the rankings. But his future, it's bright. And now Indiana's starting group. They've got Alex Caruso. Nikola Vucevic is out there with Demonis Sabonis. Then it's Malcolm Brogdon, and it's O'Neal in at the small forward. And for the Raptors, Barnes is down low with Siakam. Gary Trent is out there with Goran Dragic, and it's Ananobi in at the three. Welcome on into Toronto. It'll be the Raptors. And that was not even close. What was that? Oh, Brogdon. Trent outside, beyond the arc. Pull it in. Uh, lucky to get the miss there. Not great defense. Stop me if you've heard that before. Speaking of not great defense, that's bad defense on their side. If you don't give Brogdon a lane to the rim, he'll make one. Here's Siakam. Rebounded by Brogdon. O'Neal on the wing. And an OB covering. I wanted to throw that to Vucevic. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Sabonis, right side. Ooh, okay, that'll actually not be too bad. Not a lot of shot clock, or time on the shot clock, but we will get... Uh, and Van Vliet is subbed in for Dragic. A little bit of a reset here. Making a change. Turner, he's checked in for Vucevic. Here's Caruso. A little late on that one. No good from outside. And a fast break now for the Raptors. That's good from Van Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Amazing effort by Fred Van Vliet. He's up the court so fast to finish that play. Here's Brogdon. Pass to Turner. Really contested there. Here's Caruso from deep. Come on, that's got to go. There we go. There we go. Caruso. Don't need to be a hero. 
No, 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 no. They lead by three. No. And we'll get the Stop second it. quarter underway. Don't do on that. The other side of this break. Okay. Five two. Good start. Couple of good kicks. And if you just 2019 us, world it's been a champion. Even game through the first quarter. All right, let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Pacers so far, guys. Just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after it. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. Well, Candace, thanks so much for joining us and sharing your insights into the game. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. Chris Boucher out there. Oh, how would you miss that? Also, we didn't get to hear from her at all because of how long the quarters are. That's the group for Toronto to kick off the second quarter. And the basket by Boucher. This that was bad defense. Prefer. Shots at the rim, four from three. McConnell goes in, outside lamb. There we go. Really relying on the three this the last couple of games here. Bad move, honestly, but it's okay. It's all right. Or at least make it. Oh my God, Van Fleet, please stop. My ankles can only handle so much. Back to Van Fleet. Here's the floater. And he gets the bucket. Van Vliet's got his second basket on the night. Fred Van like Vliet is staying locked in. Froze. He's confident going to the floater when given the chance. Froze Sabon is so bad right there. Is it lost on this squad? Four seconds left. Oh my God, Fred Van Fleet, stop it. Van four points now in the quarter. A good shooter who can operate at different speeds. Love when Fred is knocking down that mid-range jump. That's got to go in. That's got to go down. That worked out actually incredibly well. Take a look at it on the replay monitor. And hold up. We're not going to have time just yet. That's a that's a basket. That's a basket. I have to admit, it's really difficult to decipher exactly what happened. They'll go to the monitors as this is a big call. Oh, he might not have had it. It froze there weirdly. We also can't see anything. This is unhelpful. So the replay was conclusive. Paul overturned. That was going to count. And BA, you can. Oh, it'll count. Okay, all right. I had no idea what was going on there. At the end of the day, you want to be a level playing field. You want the call to be correct. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. The Pacers out in front, up by four. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Bernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. For the Pacers, the first quarter was pretty even. In the first period, their biggest lead was a slim three points. They were slightly better in the second. Not a big difference between these two teams. Kenny, your thoughts about the Pacers and how they're playing? Playing on a road is having no effect on this team. I mean, between the planes, hotels, buses, it's a crime. It could zap the energy level. Right now, they look like a pressure team. And we'll see if they hit the wall in second. Jack, what was your takeaway on Toronto? Hard to feel happy when your opponent shooting over 60%. You're going to have to make things harder for those guys. Because force them out of their comfort zone. Contest every shot. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. second half action for you and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession man one guy's been getting it done Fred Van Vliet the numbers say it all he spent the first half playing efficient ball and it's not like everything's been at the rim there's been a number of jump shots along the way oh my god that stat line six points on three of four shooting and most of those open and the wide open 
Royce O'Neal is out there with Damana Sabonis. Then it's Malcolm Brogdon. Then there's Nikola Vucevic. And it's Caruso. Did not realize that was Vucevic. He's a much slower windup. What's happening? All over the map here. Siakam, left side. Shoots over Sabonis. He doesn't shoot over anything. That was almost a backward violation. Please stop with silly things. Come on. For the love. Excellent. Excellent. Just what I wanted. Some garbage. Pass to Sabonis. O'Neal on the wing. Over to the wing. Oh, I probably had the three. Green release. Green. Oh, yeah. Just a painful blow right there. I mean, I ain't the lead. They give up a big triple. Oh, he hit it. Bingo. Come on. Are you serious? He's going to remember that one. I didn't think that shot had any chance of going in. Just shows you that anything can happen in this game. Three quarters of play and a close one here. It's the Pacers. Here. By one. Oh, come All on. Right, step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. Come on, man. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. But this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Leading Trent Jr. at the guard spot. OG Ananobi out there with Kim Birch. All right, and it's Siakam in at the five spot. So that's the five in the game. For Toronto. Offensive three second violation. Three second violation. Oh my God. I hate to see that. I know everyone's mind is on the play, but you got to protect the ball. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. All right. And that kind of that's the break we need. Energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. Back to Caruso. Outside for Brockton. The three is up. Oh. And it's the Raptors. Not a great. Two seconds separating the shot clock in the game. No, oh, what a block. What a block by Vucevic. Oh my gosh! A couple of huge blocks going down there, coming down the stretch here. He's checked in for Nikola Vucevic. Now a timeout called by Toronto. They're trailing by one. Twenty seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? This is where your coaching is so important. They need a really good play now. These are the plays that people All right, this is where I get a little worried. Caruso again, player of the game. We've been giving up a lot of open threes here. And he's really let his offense come to him. He hasn't forced the issue. And because of this, it's allowed him to get into a comfort zone. And I picked the guy stuck with him. had a chance to find out what Nick Nurse was discussing with his players. This is anyone's game. So he told them, stay aggressive, stay hungry. We can't afford to let You are kidding me. I hate this. Hey, wow, what a surprise. It was Fred Van Fleet. They're losing by one. There's six seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? This is where your coaching is so important. They need a really good play now. These are the plays that people remember. I can't wait to see what he has devised. Burn! Let's go! Let's go! It's been that way all night. Each team just trying to outscore the other. Time called here. The Raptors decide to talk it over. They're behind by one. Only two seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? 
And this is what oh, it's come on. all about. This shot I just want to be on the, the ball here. Not much time left, but they have just enough to execute a play. Here's Trent. Blocked. 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 We're not done just yet. And so the big win by Indiana. Ooh, we escape with a win. Wow, that might be the best game we've played all season. Kind of a garbage end of that third quarter. When the pressure was on, they stepped up and worked twice as hard this, to overcome uh, it. This worked out well. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? That was uh, the two huge key buckets right at the buzzer at halftime for the Pacers. Obviously, the end of the third quarter for the Raptors. Um, apparently, we don't actually get to hear from Allie LaForce. I'm here with DeMontis. Oh, nope. yeah, DeMontis, okay. a great team win against a quality opponent, too. What does this say about how you're playing? It's great for us, building our confidence as a team. Um, sticking together, I feel like we play better consistently, so um, it's, it's good for us. Confidence, extremely important. Thanks, DeMontis. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. For Grand Hill, Steve Smith and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. So long, everybody. My goodness. Vucevic with a with a block. Malcolm Brogdon with a block. Whew. Phew. Uh, we win the series 3-1 against um against Toronto with a 17-16 victory. And that puts us to tomorrow's game against the Atlanta Hawks. Um, we are in the seventh spot now. Um, we are able to, we were able to leapfrog the Hornets. We're still a game behind the heat and we're a game and a half behind the Raptors. So we'll see how it shakes down uh, or shakes out following how it shakes out through the rest of the season. If you would like to find out how that happens or what happens if you'd like to figure out if i can figure out how to talk you should scroll down subscribe ring that bell so, and, uh, so you can be notified when all new videos post 4 p.m pacific time right here on youtube.com slash rex is the time for basketball so stick around hang out enjoy some videos uh, and we'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching and go pacers